Hello, Scorpio viewers. So the last reading I did for you guys, I was getting that someone regrets not following their heart and they want to reach out, but now they're being watched. So for some of you, this is a third party situation. But there's just, yeah, there's a lot of regret. Someone wants to send a message. And the readings like I was getting for this group before that is, is someone might have lost their contact info or they just... They, maybe a lot of time has gone by for some of you and they don't really know how to reach out. They don't know what to say. Um, some of them, like I said, just can't find you. Like they, they met you and they realized later on, like they had some kind of epiphany and realized that there was a soulmate connection there. But now, you know, maybe you've changed your number or you've moved or just been a lot of obstacles between you two. But let's see. Let's see what the cards have to say. Okay. Choosing their words wisely, planning their approach. So yeah, someone's still thinking about messaging you. That that was coming up in the last reading too. Um, it feels like there was like an opening between you two in the past, but maybe it was like the wrong timing, but they're just, they don't realize it was the wrong timing and they're regretting that. They're regretting that they didn't make a move when they had the chance to make a move, but it might not have worked out anyway. I mean, back then they might not have been ready for you. Shyness, fear of rejection. Yeah, some of them have gone a long time without talking to you. So there's like this fear that you might not want to talk to them. Might be a fear of commitment because they... This is a very strong psychic connection. So I feel like... I feel like some of them might have you know realized later on that you were the you're the right person for them like maybe you guys had a couple deep talks but like you didn't it was like a love at first sight type of deal you know what I mean like you didn't know each other that well um but you opened up to each other quickly you know like you just you it was like a soul recognition type thing like you just felt instant instantly like you've known each other forever and that happens with soul recognition that's what love at first sight is uh, usually, usually love at first sight is it's soul recognition. It's like, you know, that you've had past lives with them. Like you just instantly open up to them. You instantly feel comfortable with them. Like your body feels open. It feels safe. It feels secure. Um, you just feel like you've known them forever. And it's cause you have, you know, like you, your souls, like you've been together before in past lives. So that's why you, it's like picking up right where you left off. You know, that happens with soulmates and twin flames sometimes if it's a really deep connection. But there might be some fear there because it's like they're kind of wondering, like, why am I feeling like that out of nowhere? You know what I mean? Because I, I really feel like some of them just had an epiphany. Like, you guys went, like, months or years without talking. And then, like, maybe you didn't even connect. Like, maybe you connected very deeply with each other, but it was very short-lived. You know what I mean? Like, you hung out for, like, a month or so and you you really just hit it off but like you didn't actually, like, officially date or, you know what I mean? Like, it didn't go where you wanted it to go something came up one of you had to move um or one of you was in a third party situation or it was just something separated you two there's some kind of third party energy which could, doesn't have to be a person but there is a some kind of third separate outside energy that that caused a separation is what i'm getting so there's yeah there's that fear of commitment because they might have just had a dream or just had like a like an epiphany out of nowhere um or had your name come up out of nowhere and when they haven't talked to you for a long time and they're kind of recognizing that this this is a very deep psychic connection, but they they um, might not be used to it. They might not. It, it might be weird for them just because they didn't really consciously on a physical level know you that well. You know what I mean? Because they're kind of like trying to rationalize with themselves like, well, I only had a few conversations with this person or I only we only hung out a month. We didn't really even officially get together. Like, why am I feeling like this? But it's like. They're not, you know, it's soul recognition. You know that there's a strong past life connection here. But I think that they don't realize it's a past life connect. I don't think they know about that stuff the same way you do. You know what I mean? So I don't know if they're fully conscious of it. Scorpios are very psychic. Um, so I feel like you're probably a little bit more psychic than your person is. But I feel like they're starting to recognize that energy. They're starting to be like, there's something here. Like, why can't I just shake this person? Like, we're, we were never even together. Or if we were together, it was very short-lived. Like, why am I... Or, like, it's been months or years and years since you guys have talked. And they're suddenly having these epiphanies or these dreams or visions. Seeing the synchronicities that, you know, you guys are right for each other. So they're just kind of like, dude, what? <laughs> what? 
They're trying to wrap their heads around it. Sex, seduction. They might come in, but they might almost try to make it like lust, like, like, maybe it was lust, but you guys realize later down the road that there was something more there. Um, it could be that they might want to come in, but maybe they're afraid of commitment, so they might come in, but try to keep in things in the shallow end. Kind of coming in and seducing, seducing you. Kind of being like a little bit distrusting of the connection. I think they're just really trying to wrap their heads around the psychic energy because they don't understand it, you know? It's like you feel like this angel in their life. Their happiness, their warmth, their light. They just, they see a future with you, but they're... Their, their logical brain is fighting them, you know? They're like, well, why? Why would I see a future with someone I only hung out with a few times or someone I haven't talked to in years? Like, like they're trying to rationalize. Like, I don't, like, that's that's not legit. There could be a, a karmic partner involved because I... Yeah, because I'm getting very similar energy to the, to the last spread where it's like they want to reach out, but now they're being watched. I feel like... I want to say that they're not being watched as much as they were, though. Like, it feels like this karmic partner is clearing up, like a third-party energy is clearing up. Or maybe, because this could be something, so I feel like, okay, so an update to the story, I feel like they're clearing this energy up. So a third, part, a third party, again, it's like a karmic situation, I feel, is what's going on with them. But again, for some of you, it's a person. I mean, for some of them, it's a person that's the third party. But for others, it could be like a living situation or like a job or like friends or family or just some kind of energy that separated you two. So it could have been like, like the third party could be like a, like a different state that they live in, that they had to, they moved away after you guys met or something like that, or you moved away. It's just some kind of energy where there was something that, there was something real developing, but something came in and separated you guys. But I feel like they're conscious of this and they want to clear it up. So, like, if they're, say they're living in another state or something and they, maybe they told you they don't want to do a long-distance relationship or maybe they just didn't pursue it because it was early on and they're like, well, I've already committed to moving. I don't want to change my plans now. Maybe they're considering, I don't want to say they're considering moving back. I mean, some of them could be, but some of them might just be thinking, like, well, okay, maybe I could do a, a long-distance relationship. Maybe I'll just... Like they're trying to, they're trying to figure it out. They're trying to, it's really, it's a good energy because they're focusing on this um, third party energy and they're trying to figure out how to clear it up. So if it's like a karmic partner that they're not happy with anymore, they're trying to, to think about maybe breaking up um, and what that would look like. They might be living with them. So maybe it's kind of tricky. Like they might need to figure out like a living situation first before they can officially leave this person. Because they might not, they, they're probably a good person and they don't want to kick the person, they don't want to kick the karmic out. So they would want to leave themselves and let the karmic keep the apartment or keep the house, whether they're renting or owning. Um, or maybe they just need to clear things up. This could be like a, like family or friends that don't like you and they're but they're living with them and they're like, okay, well, I need to move out and, you know, secure something, like get a secure job, um, stable income, like a stable apartment, and then I can pursue a relationship. Or it's like they live somewhere else and now they're thinking like, okay, how could I do? Like they didn't consider it before, but now their intuition is just kind of slapping them in the face and they're like, okay, I do want to go back and revisit this, but how, how would I do that when we live so far apart? Like what would that look like and they're kind of maybe looking into like could they buy you airline tickets or could they can they afford airline tickets in their budget um like what days of the week are you off work what days are they off work like how would they how could they do this like what they're trying to plan around it they're basically just whatever the story again there's different stories here but there's basically there's just some kind of energy that separated you two but now they want to clear this energy up so whatever it is that kept you apart, they're focusing on that now and they're trying to think of how they can clear the energy out of their lives or how they can find a balance so that they can manage both, you know? Um, like for some of you, if it's like, you know, toxic family, it's like, well, some of them aren't willing to talk, cut their family out, but they're like, okay, maybe I could move out though and set boundaries with my family, but not fully cut them out. Or maybe I, maybe they could bring you in and maybe... Um, maybe they could get your family to like you or something, you know, like they're, they're trying to clear this energy up. 
So I feel like that's kind of why they're not messaging is because they're trying to figure this out first because they want to come to you with some kind of plan. They don't want to just message you out of no. Like if it starts going there, they don't want to just be like, oh yeah, sorry, I'm still with the karmic. Oh yeah, or, or oh, you know, sorry, like my parents still hate you or sorry, like I still live in another state, tough. Like they want to be able to say something like, well, I do live in another state, but you know, I checked flight tickets and you know, flights are only a hundred dollars on Mondays. So we could do this, you know what I mean? Like they, they want to, they want to balance, they want to, you know, temperance energy. They want to find some kind of balance before they come forward so that they're not just giving you, um, mixed messages or confusing you, you know, like they, they want to say something legit. They want, um, that, that base before they pursue this too much. Cause I think they know, I think you guys have a very deep, passionate, emotional connection and I think you're both very passionate, idealistic people. So I feel like it's going to be moving very quickly. And I think that they know that because I think whoever this person is, I feel like it was moving very fast with them when you guys were talking. Like it was like you guys just hung out a couple times and you just felt like you known each other forever. Like just soul recognition, soulmates, twin flames, like, like just that romance was there. That spark was there between you two. So I feel like they know, like logically they know, um, you're both dreamers, you know what I mean? But I think logically they know that like when you when they start talking to you, like if you are still single, if you're if you are still open to them and available, then it's going to move very quickly. You know, you guys are it's going to, you know, they can kind of sense that. They can kind of sense that this would be the type of relationship where you guys would would make it official a couple weeks in, you know? Like they they would they know that it's not one of those relationships where they can just kind of balance. Like they know this relationship is going to be consuming because it's so passionate and so, so, so much fiery energy to it. Um, could be a fire sign involved too somehow, but cause I'm getting like fire or water energy. It's like very passionate, very emotional, romantic kind of energy between you two is what I get. So it's, it's a good energy here. You know, the emotional depth and that spark is definitely there on both ends. Um, and if this is your story and you want a private reading, my email is below. Just check the, the description box right below this video. The email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. But you can just, just check the description box and you can just copy and paste my email and send me an email and I can look more in depth into, you know, your person, what they're feeling, what they're wanting, if they're likely to reach out soon. Because this is, this is a general message for the Scorpio. But if you want really specific messages, um, you know, it's good to, to email and get like a private reading so I can look more in depth into your situation and what this person exact, like specifically is, is feeling, thinking, wanting, what, what obstacles might be holding them back, whatever you want to know really about the situation. So yeah, and also any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. My PayPal and my cash app link is also below. Let's see what else we can get. Yeah, happiness, warmth, light. Like they feel like their happiness and warmth and light is with you. It's almost like this angel that just came into their life out of nowhere. Like it was just like unexpected. Like they didn't, I don't think they were expecting to meet anybody. I feel like the way that you guys met was really like, like you came into their workplace or like some, like you, like we're neighbors, like, and you just like some, like it just, it happened so quickly. Like, I don't think they were prepared for it. You know what I mean? Like you, like it just everything just started flowing suddenly. Like it was just like, wow, where did you, where did you come from? Like, you know what I mean? I don't think, I mean, I could totally be wrong, but this doesn't feel like the energy of like going on a dating app or something. This feels more like the energy of like, you guys were both single. And then just like before it, like the, you know, thinking you're going to be single for a long time. And then the next day you're suddenly finding yourself having this deep emotional talk to someone you're just meeting or you're opening yourself up and flirting with this person that you just met. And you're just like, wow, I did not expect that energy so soon. I do feel like they want a message. I still feel that energy, but I feel like, so, okay. So like the last, I mean, it's, it's similar energy because it's, it's the same story. You know what I mean? Like th this is a continued story for, you know, if you've been with me for a few months, it's the same story. It's the same energy group. I keep channeling, you know, this is your story. And, and so a lot of times it is similar energy in each read because it, it kind of depends on what's happened over the last couple of weeks, you know, so you're going to get some of the same energy because it's, it's the same story, unless there's like a drastic energy shift, which I should be channeling if that happened. So I am getting a little bit of a shift here though. Cause before I was getting like, they want a message, but they're being watched or they're, um, again, this could be family. This could be friends. This could be a karmic partner that they're with, that they might be living with. 
um, like romantically. This could be, um, it could be like not even being watched, but just being like, like an energy of, um, like stagnancy, kind of like, like not, not necessarily being watched, but like living in like another state or having some kind of separation between you, like just like this, like nervous kind of energy. Um, and they were kind of trying to think of like how they could just message anyway. And, but they weren't really dealing with it. You know what I mean? Like if they had like a karmic, it was almost like they were just kind of thinking about like, well, maybe I'll message you when, um, maybe I'll create a fake account to message you. So the karmic doesn't know that I'm messaging you, or maybe I'll like, you know, message you when the karmic goes out of town, or maybe I'll, I'll message you, um, and try to pretend like I have my life together, even though I know very well, I'm, I haven't prepared of how to, I'm not prepared for, you know, having a long, uh, having a, a long distance relationship. It was almost like they were trying to brush the issue under the rug and they would just wanted to message impulsively. But this is actually really good energy, despite the fact that I feel like most of them probably haven't messaged you. It's still, it's, it's still actually good energy though. Cause it's like, do you really want them to just message you when the karmic's out of town? Like, like you're their little side piece or something like you don't want that. You know what I mean? It's really good because now they're actually focusing on clearing whatever this is that's keeping you apart. They're focusing on clearing it up. So that's, that might also be, so some of you are feeling, some of you are feeling like all kinds of energy from them, like, like love from them. And then all of a sudden you felt like they kind of focused on something else. Like if you're channeling them, like you felt all this love, like they're about to come back. And then all of a sudden you felt like, like their energy just shifted, but so it did, it did, but not in a bad way. Basically it shifted because if this is your story, that is, it's shifted because they're focusing on clearing up this third party. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's not like, they, I mean, yes, they're focusing on you less, but it's, it's a really good thing because this was an obstacle and they know this is an obstacle. So they want to clear this up and then come forward. You know, like they want to figure out how they can break up with the karmic and still find a place to live. So some of them are focusing on like work, like saving money um, right now, which could be a process because some of them, I mean, like I said, this person is a nice person, so they don't want to kick the karmic out. So they might be thinking like if they're married, they might be thinking like they want to let the karmic keep the house. Um, or they want to like split the house or something, or like, you know, if they're in an apartment, they're like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to move out. Like, I don't want to kick the karmic out. I'm just going to move out and find my own apartment. But like finances come into play with that where they might have to save money now, or like they might have to, you know, they might be going apartment hunting if they do have the money, like they're trying to figure out a way out of it. Or like, you know, like I said, if, if they're in a, in a living situation, they're like looking, or if, if they're, sorry, if they're long distance, it's like they're looking at flight prices and they're trying to plan and maybe save money so that when they message you, they can actually say like, Hey, like, can I buy you a, a plane ticket out here? You know, instead of just messaging you, like, um, maybe we can visit each other sometime in the future. Like they want to have a solid love offer to present you. You know what I mean? So so yeah, a lot of them are, fo are focused on like pentacles type energy, like finances, career, saving money, finding a new place to live, um, cutting toxic family and friends out so that they can be with you. Cause some people, some people might not, there might be people around them that don't like you for some of you, but, but again, it's really good energy, despite the fact that their energy is focused el elsewhere. It's really good that they're not just sweeping this under the rug. They're actually dealing with this. They're actually figuring out how to get out of this energy so that they can get out of stagnant stagnation and complacency. And it's not even just for you. I mean, you're a motive for them. Like it's, it's motivating them because they do want to communicate with you and they want to have something solid to offer. But it's also, this situation's also been wearing them down, I feel. So if it's like toxic friends or family or a karmic, I feel like this is something that they already know that they want to get out of. But then you give them that extra boost of, of the extra motivation. You know what I mean? Because now they can see a future with, with you as well. Not just, you know what I mean? Like they already wanted away from this. I feel like they were already kind of, it was already kind of unstable. Like the karmic might've cheated on them or screwed them over. But now they're thinking like, well, okay. Like if I got an apartment, like I, maybe I wouldn't have to be alone. Like maybe I could have a new start with, with that includes love too. You know what I mean? Like they want a new start in all areas of their life, financially, 
um, living situation, love, all of it. You know, they want this new start. But yeah, and there is a little bit of fear messaging you too because they feel like some of you, they haven't talked to you in a long time. So they're still kind of trying to figure out how to message without it being awkward and trying to figure out what to say. So so yeah, that's where they're at now. Um, like I said, if you want me to go in depth into this, I can. I, I can give you more, more clear details on what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, whatever you want to know. Uh, my email address is below in the description box. Just send me an email. And like I said, any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. My donation link is below in my cash app. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And please um, subscribe if it resonates to you. Thanks.